It was an exciting time to be at uh, NBC. First of all, congratulations. I mean, uh, the first female co-anchor in the history in 66 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I want to tell you the news. Yeah, exactly. But that's a, it's a, it's a giant thing. And man, oh man, I mean, you make I have great chemistry, obviously. But uh, you've uh, both paid your dues. Hoda, you've been doing this Dateline sixteen years. Yeah, I was doing Dateline for a long, long time. Um, and then I started laughing and scratching and drinking with Kathy Lee for ten years. <laughs> oh, and those are best. And, and you changed the, the game. You guys are great. The combination of those two things, I think, made everything work out just right. Um, yeah. Like Savannah and I started. Uh, anchoring together and it was just weird it was like if you've ever met a friend for like and had like a great moment and you say to yourself wow that was so much fun like that works I think we had kind of yeah. like an instant thing Hoda says it was like a first date and yeah. I was like and I'm easy and desperate it just clicked and it felt so good yeah and yeah. you can see it, it we're so happy it yeah. comes through on TV and people are loving it I'm so psyched uh, and uh, I'm just happy that you, you you made a positive out of what is a pretty uh, just kind of a negative or sad situation. You made it into a positive thing. Yeah, it was it it's was tricky. It was a difficult time for the show, no question. And yeah. we were talking about just how do you navigate those waters? Yeah, right? it was it was hard. And I mean, every everyone saw it. Like yeah. we all yeah. went through it. And um, you know, but as you say, like something really lovely and positive has happened. And yeah. so I think that's where we're focused and we have the best staff and How are they doing? How's it they're doing? great oh. and they're just like working their hearts out at all times for this thing that we all love, which is this show. You know, mm -hmm. these that's are great. people who come to work in the middle of the night. If you tell them, look, we need five 10 speed bikes for a spot at <laughs> yes. six o'clock in the morning, they will find them in the middle of the yeah. night. Like yeah. these guys work their you know what's it's off amazing. and yeah. we just want them to be happy. Like we just want them to love you know, you feel, you feel a work. good vibe. You can tell you love it, which is that uh, why you got in this. In I the think first we place. both feel like Forrest Gump. Like we're like, how did we get here? You know, like <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It's like well, so, you can tell you love it. Though. Yeah, I mean, we feel grateful. Do you remember your first gig when you first like went on on air, like as an anchor? I remember. Yeah, oh, I you mean, in local news. Yeah, yeah. That was that may have been like one of the most terrifying experiences in the world. Can I tell you just a real quick story? So I was filling in for someone, and it was my very first time anchoring, and her name was Ann Martin, and she was like a legend. I still remember the prompter. Good evening. Um, I'm Hoda Kotb. Ann Martin is off, and I remember I was so nervous, and the guy cued me. I was filling in, and I looked at the prompter, and I go. Good evening. I'm Ann Martin. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I'm not Ann Martin. I'm going to start over. <laughs> but, but you just you can't believe you can go from that and then you make a ton of mistakes and then we wind up sitting here together. Yeah, it's bizarre. <laughs> I mean, the biggest. I mean, it doesn't get bigger than the way you guys are doing. Now you're off to uh, the, the Olympics. Yes. When is uh, Pyeongchang, when does that start? Um, well, February I'm 8th, not really right? sure. Oh, yeah, February 8th. That's yeah. right. I was like, I. I, we're so confused because yeah. I think it's like 14 hours ahead or behind. You're like not it's going actually, on in the, in the morning. Um, no, we're on at night, and like right now it's last October there. And, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's just like, yeah, yeah so you know, it's it, confusing. Yeah, it always has to be. But out. February 8th. But you're gonna be on nighttime. Yes, yes. we're yeah, we're on a near shift. We're gonna be on from 9 p.m. <laughs> Pyeongchang time. Pyeongchang time, which is fantastic. That's That's awesome. so great. What are we gonna do? Well, wait. If I want to make a cameo or something like that from yes. America, what time do I have to be awake? 7 a.m. 7 a.m. <laughs> I will see you when you get back from the Olympics. <laughs> it will be great. I have to tell you guys to buy me a t-shirt, something, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I love the Winter Olympics. I'm looking forward to it. Oh. I think it's great. What's your favorite? Curling is my favorite. Curling? Or, yes. Isn't that the I, Curling. Why? Yeah. There's, a, there's a brother and sister uh, uh, that were on our show, uh, uh, Becca and Matt Hamilton. They're brother and sister on the U.S. team, and they're, it's the first year they're going to do a co-ed curling. So they're going to make history either way just by competing, but hopefully they win and take USA takes home the gold. Curling, I'm saying. Yes. Brother and sister, play with those guys. We could do the curling color commentary. Yes. I will do it. I'll be sending tweets from New York. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I think it's fun. I've been well, to a couple of Olympics. I think the thing about the Olympics is there's no other place, I don't think, on earth where you can sit there and watch a kid you've never heard or never heard of before. And in that instant, you get to watch their life change. Yeah. Like, you get to see a, a moment that turns right. them from just like a person who didn't know their name to a legend. And yeah. think about how many times in your life you get to watch someone's life change, like in that moment. No, it's like it's going to be so cool. Yeah. Know, we know Lindsay Vaughn, we know Sean White. Yeah. Like, the rest are kind of all newbies and they're young. I mean, they're kids out there too. Yeah. And you're like, I mean, it's all ages, but I like seeing the people are like, you can tell, like, 
hi, I'm Ann, whatever. <laughs> you yeah, know, they yeah, say, yeah. Like, they're yeah. nervous. They don't know even how to do interviews. They're like, I just want to ski or I just want to. Right, 16, 17 year old kids. It's yeah. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. I remember when I first came to the Tinny Show and went to my first Olympics. I was like, is it really fun to go? Is it fake fun or is it real fun? And they were yeah. like, no, it's really fun. And you know, <laughs> yeah, they were talking about you. Like, hey, yeah. you guys having fun? This yeah, party? Like, yeah, this party is great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, can we leave like, Was it too rude to leave now? Yeah. yeah. No, but it was actually. The, I have to say, like, being there. And hearing your national anthem yeah. play when when we win gold, like you're like, ah, yeah, you're like yeah. Yeah. it really yeah. is. It's so cool. Yeah, and the opening ceremonies I love. I love the opening, the closing ceremony. I look I look forward to all that. I'm like, let's just see what they're wearing and they're coming in and represent. <laughs> I stand up if I'm in my house. I'm like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> USA, baby. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> Yelling at my dog. My dog's like, I'm cool. I love USA. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm looking forward to you guys going. Please get me a t-shirt while you're over there. Uh, and I'll be watching you every single morning. You're crushing it, and I love you guys. Congratulations. Savannah Guthrie, hold a copy, everybody. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.